Hello everyone. So I'm doing kind of a reset today. Showering. I'm going to paint my nails right now. I just cleaned up like the whole first floor. <laughs> so I just had stuff piling up. I had like Easter stuff. I watered my plants. <laughs> All right. So let me pick a color. I wanted to do sort of a nice spring color. Maybe, maybe like a I feel like I don't really want to do purple again. Maybe like a baby blue? Maybe this. I also have this kind of like green color. Should I do green? Ocean Street. Cereal Talk. This one smells like Fruit Loops. This is from that Fruit Loops collection. This is like a little bit too summery. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with this lilac i feel like that's very spring cool well i'm gonna start this and uh yeah this color I don't know is it my favorite I've ever done no but it is cute so it's from nails Inc and it's Waverly Road that's the name and of course I just like barely moved my nail and it got one of them cut <gasps> messed up so I just painted it again and now I'm waiting for it to dry and then I have to put a top coat on but I'm not in love with this top coat honestly but I usually like to do this at night so the fact that I'm doing it at 145 is not a good idea because I have to go my rest of my day because if you do it at night, then you just sleep and then you don't have a chance to mess your nails up. But I just wanted to get it out of the way. So now I need to sort of just blow dry my hair a little bit. All right, so I'm doing a classic today. This is our last food that we have. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we're doing. We're doing pasta, just like the good old days. I got my sauce on here. It's just so easy and I was gonna do I made the best oh my god I love it this is why I need my basil to be done so for some reason the arrow garden basil when I pruned it I think I pruned it wrong it like died off so I haven't had any basil growing but I did plant a ton like a ton in the raised garden bed and it's actually I like didn't start it from seed I planted it in there and it is already starting to germinate so that's very exciting for me 
because basil is honestly something that we use so often. That's probably our number one most used herb. But anyway, um, I made the best. Oh my God, it was so freaking good. So it was using rotini noodles. I need to make this again. I might actually make this for my birthday. So it's rotini noodles, right? Like the corkscrew ones. And it was the, you know, green pea pesto that I always make from the Hot For Food cookbook. Oh my God, I made that, right? And I put it on those noodles because usually I've been putting it on forever, putting it on linguine noodles because that's what the recipe said. I put it on the rotini noodles and then I did the Morningstar Buffalo Chicken Patty. Oh my God. Oh my God. It was seriously one of the best things I've ever eaten. I will probably have to make that for my birthday because it was just so good. So I was hoping to do that today because I really wanted to do that, but I'm just doing the rouse. I actually remember the day that I, I think I vlogged it. The day that I first found rouse. And it's funny because it's like, it's a, such a staple now for so many people. And so many people have found out about it, but I remember the day I found Rouse because I was going through an Ina Garden phase. And so that's how I found it because she wrote, you know, she writes in her cookbooks, like she'll say, you know, use good olive oil. And then she literally said, if you don't want to make your own, you use a good store bought like Rouse. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to try that. And then I tried it and it was insane. I'm just going to put this back here. I usually combine these right away, but I have to put some sauce over on the top of the chicken patties because I'm doing like chicken parm. But anyway, I remember the first day I tried rouse and that was the day my life changed. <laughs> that was the day, I, well, you know what? You know what I should do for my birthday? This is what I'm, I'm just planning my birthday meal. Cause you know, the big thing on my birthday is I must eat, and my parents know this, <laughs> I must eat something for every meal that I love. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, like I literally used to have my parents, I'm just thinking, <laughs> I used to have my parents like drop off food for me at, at school on my birthday. The things that I've done my whole life are just, I am a monster, I, that's for sure. I should ask my parents if they have any good memories of stuff like that, but I would ha used to have them like drop off stuff. Since I was in, I think even elementary school, I was demanding it. <laughs> like I would have them, I used to love Arby's roast beef sandwiches, I used to love Okay, I was keeping Arby's in business back in the day, okay? Like my grandparents would drop it off for me and this is so crazy to even think about, but they used to allow parents to come and like sit with you at, at lunch. So my dad used to come all the time in elementary school. I think I've told this story before, but he used to come and sit with me at lunch and then he would come, he was allowed to play with us on the playground. <laughs> And for the for one day a year, not he would come, he actually came more than just on my birthday, but for the days that my dad was there, I was the most popular kid in the school. And then when he left, I went back to being an absolute nobody. <laughs> like, I had, for, it was so crazy, it was like a phenomenon. I would have just everybody at the, everybody was at my lunch table. And I loved it. And my dad would bring me to McDonald's. And it was just hilarious, like... So that's a good memory. But yeah, I, I've been doing this since I'm, you know, forever where I just, I have to have like my favorite foods on my, on my birthday. Like, duh. That's like, honestly, that's like a baseline, you know, like baseline. You got to eat what you want. You got to eat what you love on your birthday. Uh, and one year I had, literally I was in New York. I think it was, was it last year? I don't remember. But I literally was in Central Park and everything like that. And I had all my favorites from New York. But where was I going with that? One second, I gotta take these out. I had like red bamboo, I had like, I had everything, it was such a great day. I'm gonna spoon this on top. Whoa. I feel like this year, I'm gonna, you know what, ooh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make my own birthday cake for sure. I think I'm going, I usually really like funfetti, but honestly that carrot cake was so good. I might remake the carrot cake, because that was honestly delightful. So I think I'll probably remake that. I'll put the cheese on this. Sorry, I can't. I like barely can talk and do this, do things at the same time. Um, it's not easy for me. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna do that that green pea pesto linguine. I really, I think I might. I think I might do that. Yeah. And then oh, I'm getting a phone call. And then I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Honestly, I could do a tea party situation. I could. I really could. All right. It's ready. The time has come. 
Delish. All right, last thing for today. I made a bunt cake. <laughs> kind of random, but we were like, well, whatever. So I'm gonna try to flip this on. I'm just gonna put it on a regular plate. So. power dude when is that coming back you know that show did anyone watch that the lord of the rings one on amazon all right well i'm gonna ice this up it's duncan Hines lemon supreme cake it's the, probably the best thing you'll ever eat you gotta get the lemon supreme um icing as well holy crap so good kind of hard to ice one of these kind of cakes <laughs> it's a little weird but i don't know i'm just gonna Do it like this, I guess. That seems pretty good to me. So, <laughs> it's rustic, okay? It's rustic. So let's cut into this thing. All right, here we go. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks beautiful, actually. So. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I will see you tomorrow.